I just wanted to show you guys a little bit of my morning routine. All of you are always asking me how I get my hair so nice and curly. And all I really do after the shower is I just run my fingers through my hair and I pull it out a little bit and, and then it just dries uh, the rest of the day. But I do have some special products that I use every day. Uh, the first one is Frankie's Naturals Deodorant. Uh, from frankiesnaturals.com. It's like a minimal ingredient, minimally processed uh, deodorant. It's like free of aluminum, any negative things uh, that are really bad for you. And you need to use so little of this, it lasts like two months. Like this one container has lasted longer than like two or three sticks of deodorant. I also use Frankie's Moisturizing Cream, AKA Ball Grease. Uh, this is a vitamin D3 moisturizing cream, and when you rub it on your body, it literally gives you vitamin D3. Uh, this stimulates hormone production, uh, whether it's testosterone or estrogen. Uh, so male or female, this stuff is amazing. I hope you guys are excited today because I'm going to take you through a full vegan day of eating. I think I may have candida or something. So lately, I've been starting my day with some celery juice, but I heard from someone on YouTube that turpentine kills candida, and turpentine is paint varnish, but he's vegan and he knows what he's doing, uh, so I'm gonna put some in. Are you guys sure this is what I should be doing? <laughs> oh my god, see? The candida's gone already. Every time I drink that celery juice, I just have to run to the bathroom. I feel like it's my body just detoxing all of the bad stuff uh, from what I used to eat, like meat and animal foods and all that icky stuff. I know I just drank like half a gallon of pesticides and herbicides, but as a vegan, I feel like we have the stomach capacity of cows, so I'm gonna show you guys my favorite breakfast. It's an acai bowl, and first we need two bananas. Uh, I usually take at least like two bananas at once, uh, so that's what we're using today. Uh, then we need some fat nuts. Uh, I really love fat nuts. Uh, this is a granola mix I got at Whole Foods. And here we have some chia seeds. Of course we need something to grow in our stomach, along with the candida. And then I have some Brazil nuts. Uh, I think these are for semen, uh, or is it selenium? Uh, I'm not really sure, uh, but I love them either way. I usually just have one along with the acai bowl. Uh, and then we need some ice. And of course we have the acai, uh, it's completely organic, and even though it was picked halfway across the world by slaves, uh, I'm still morally superior to everyone else, uh, despite exploiting workers in third world countries uh, for products that are only grown seasonally in certain parts of the world uh, to fit my unrealistic and crazy diet. Uh, so we're just going to blend this up and... You guys are gonna love this. Oh my god, guys, I almost forgot. This isn't that sweet with the bananas and the acai, so we just need to add some maple syrup. Oh my god, guys, look at that. What looks more appetizing than purple slop?
Alright, so there we have our chia seeds for loads of omega-3. And here we have our fat nut mix. Oh my god, guys, doesn't that look so good? Uh, it kind of reminds me of what I used to feed the birds at the park. Oh my god, guys, this looks so good. Uh, I like getting a little bit of everything. So I get some acai, some chia seeds, some nuts, uh, some of the dried fruit. Mmm! Oh my god, guys! You're gonna love this. I'm gonna down this acai bowl and then we're gonna go for a little workout. Oh, if you guys are wondering how I got so muscular, I don't really work out anymore, uh, but with how much I use my blender, I'm always stuck on clogging my sink. Uh, and it's one hell of a workout when you have to do it six times a day. I am so exhausted after that workout. We need some protein to refuel our muscles. Uh, so I have some high DHA tofu. And the reason I get high DHA tofu is so that we could oxidize the fat in both uh, the soybean as well as the fish oils to clog our arteries even quicker. As a bonus, uh, there's calcium sulfite and calcium chloride. Uh, so not only are we clogging our arteries with plant-based fats, uh, we're also calcifying them at the same time. I mean, what else uh, could help us get heart disease faster than some cottonseed oil and some sugar? I am so excited for this recipe, guys. Let me show you. This is a really quick and easy recipe. I know a lot of times they want you to marinate the tofu, uh, but we really don't have time for that. I have so many bathroom appointments. It's unbelievable. Uh, what I also like doing is cutting the tofu in half lengthwise uh, so that it cooks quicker. And I don't usually eat all of this tofu at once. Uh, so I'll save some for later. All right, so I'm gonna start heating up my pan and I'm gonna season the tofu on both sides with salt. The oil we're cooking with today is cottonseed oil. Uh, that's because it has a high smoke point and doesn't burn. And you really don't want to cook with things like butter or lard because uh, that type of stuff will clog your arteries. I mean, how do they even make cottonseed oil? Uh, I don't really know, but we're going to use it anyway. I think my grandfather used to use this to lubricate machinery. Uh, no, but I must be getting that wrong. That can't be right. And you want to be careful because tofu has a very high moisture content. So what we want to do here is just put the tofu in the pan and then cover it. Just make sure to keep wiggling the pan a little bit so you get a nice even sear. And we don't really have to cook the tofu that much because tofu is already cooked. Alright, so after you flip the tofu once, what you want to do is let it get a little bit of a crust on that side. And then we want to deglaze the pan with the coconut aminos. What this is going to do is concentrate the sweetness and saltiness of the coconut aminos and give the tofu a really savory flavor. Alright, so once the coconut aminos are reduced and it forms like this really nice syrupy glaze, we flip it over. Really try to coat all of the tofu. And then we just put a little bit of maple syrup on it and then we finish it. Just another two minutes. There you have it guys. This is our post-workout tofu protein with a coconut amino maple syrup glaze. Oh my god guys, this smells so amazing. It's kind of like Chinese chicken. I mean not chicken, but it kind of smells like Chinese food with the coconut aminos. Oh my god, you guys are never going to miss protein again. I think I'm going to head over to Whole Foods and get some juice. It's only like $8, but thankfully my boyfriend, I mean, my girlfriend pays for everything. And I know that driving a car is 
three times worse for the environment than eating meat, but I still like to pretend that a vegan diet is so good for the environment because cow farts are killing the planet, not like the billions of vehicles driving around. Oh my god, so I went to Whole Foods and the boy, I mean the girl at the juice counter was so cute I was like too nervous to get anything. Uh, so I ended up just getting some uh, more bananas for later. I'm still a little bit hungry so we're gonna have some avocado toast. A real vegan classic. Uh, I like using Dave's Killer Bread uh, because the 50 ingredients in this bread really kill your stomach. So this is super simple guys. I just toasted my bread and then we're gonna take my $6 avocado and I'm just gonna slice it up. Okay guys, and now we just need to season it up a little bit. You know, the avocado needs a little bit of seasoning because, uh, you know, the bread isn't just that flavorful. And then we just need a little bit of salt, too. Oh my god, guys, this looks so good. Uh, you could put a little lemon juice on it if you want, but I'm not in the mood today. This could use like an egg or something. Oh no, 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 not an egg. I mean like, like one of those fake vegan eggs I made in one of my previous videos. But this is really good. You guys should try this. I am just starving. So we're gonna have a little bit of dairy free coconut milk yogurt. And I just love this stuff. It tastes just like real yogurt. I mean, I mean, not like, not like real yogurt. It's just like so creamy and delicious and milky. No, no, not milky. It's like, uh, it's really tasty. Oh my god, guys, this feels so familiar. I, I can't think of what it reminds me of. I, I just can't put my tongue on it. But I feel like I do this a lot. Oh my god, guys. I just love being out in nature. It totally reminds me of this time I was dating this farm boy. I mean, I mean girl. And he was telling me how when cows go out into the field and they're eating all different types of grasses, it's like they're sampling different foods. Uh, so when a cow tastes like clover, it could be ice cream. And when a cow tastes like a flower or something, it might be a cheeseburger. And that's why like when you see cows eating, they're like, they're really like sniffing the grass and that their mouths are like sandpaper. Uh, but since humans are naturally herbivores, I feel like I should have the same sense of smell and taste. Uh, so let's, let's try some clover here. Oh my god, guys, that looks so good. Do you guys see? Oh my god. Alright, so it doesn't really taste like ice cream, but maybe it's just because I got the wrong type of clover. Eh. Maybe we just have to try this, this like spring onion type of grass. Maybe, maybe this'll, maybe this'll taste better. we went to like a natural field or like we were out in the forest there would be like plenty of plants and stuff we could munch on okay so I had a little something to ask you guys uh, one of my girlfriends has been trying the vegan diet with me and she lost her period I wanted to ask you if like a yeast infection can cause someone to lose their period uh, because she's been eating a lot of nutritional yeast uh, so I, I don't know if, if that can cause the issue. 
Uh, let me know, guys. I am so famished. I just need a little bit of a pick-me-up. Uh, I'm gonna have some grapes. Uh, but first, I need to take a picture for my Instagram. This reminds me of when my boyfriend used to feed me grapes and stroke my hair. I think that looks about right. Oh, what happened here? <laughs> oh my god, guys, I am so sad. I was in the supermarket supporting conventional agriculture, just like every other vegan, and I found a chick. <laughs> I found a chicken! <laughs> it is today, July 5th, 2019, uh, that we lay Mr. Giblets to rest. May he be forever in our hearts. You guys are gonna love what we're having for dinner. I'm gonna show you my watermelon steak recipe. Uh, so of course, uh, we need a watermelon, and I have some coconut aminos, as well as salt and pepper, and I just started the grill outside. So it's warming up while we cut the melon. Our grill is nice and heated up. We're gonna throw our steak on the grill. I don't really grill a lot anymore because ever since I went vegan, my skin burns really easily. I feel like the pasty white complexion pairs really well with the deteriorating gray organs that vegans have. Oh my god, guys, this smells just like steak. I hope my family didn't grill yesterday. I don't, I mean, I don't think there's any meat left on the grill. We have some nice grill marks on our watermelon steak. Uh, you could cook it a little bit longer, but it is just sweltering out here. I need to get back inside. Guys, I am just starving. I can't wait to dig into this. It smells just like steak. I feel like this cuts just like a steak too. It's like so similar. If you guys haven't tried this, it is so good. The black pepper makes it taste just like a steak. And like the coconut aminos add this like savory, salty thing that helps that flavor too. So, watermelon steak, you heard it here first. It makes complete sense that I go to the bathroom more now on a vegan diet because if we're gonna eat all of these plant foods, like we would have needed a lot of manure and fertilizer in nature. Uh, so, you know, the increase in bowel movements is a testament uh, to us following our natural vegan diet. Since I've been such a good boy today on the vegan diet, I'm gonna treat myself a little bit. So I'm gonna show you guys how to make a caramel that we can dip some dried fruit in uh, because I just have a little bit of a sweet tooth. I mean, dried fruit and caramel isn't that sweet. It's not like dessert or anything. Uh, so all we need is some uh, white sugar. I never normally use white sugar. Usually I like using natural sugars. 
Uh, but I have this treat like once in a while, so it's okay. I mean, we only consume like 300 grams of sugar today. What's a little more? It's really simple. We're just gonna put some sugar in a pan until it starts melting. You just wanna keep moving the pan. Distribute the heat evenly so it doesn't burn on the bottom. It's gonna start like turning into crystals and melting very quickly. Okay, so here we have our figs and here's the caramel. I just like adding a little bit of salt to it. You know, salted caramel is one of my favorite things. These are organic Turkish figs from California. Uh, they're a little bit expensive, but my boyfriend, I mean my girlfriend, loves treating me. Uh, so all I do is I dip them in the salted caramel. Oh my god, guys, this is like... Oh my god, this is perfect. It's like a healthy, low-sugar dessert. Thank you guys so much for joining me today for my vegan day of eating. If you could please like the video, subscribe, and hit that bell icon. Share the video if you can. Guys, all these piercings are getting really expensive, and I wanted to get a few more. Uh, so if you guys could please support the video. Uh, as I mentioned earlier, check out FrankiesNaturals.com if you want to have the awesome, radiant skin of a vegan. Thanks again, guys, and enjoy the rest of your day.